So for today, we're going to be looking at the Intrepid set for all of the classes. If you guys don't know, this armor set was being sold in the beginning of this expansion. Unfortunately, this video came out later than I intended because there was so much stuff that I was doing. I was doing the day one raid. I was trying to get all of the armor, all of the everything, essentially. And this armor set, the review just kind of uh, went in the back a lot. And I'm really mad about that because I do think this armor is worth it. Oh my god, this armor is so worth it. We're going to be talking about how it looks. And man, I'm going to be praising a lot of it because it does look really cool. I will be comparing a lot of things to other armor sets because it is, it is technically a reskin, but not technically as well. We'll talk about it when we get to it. But if you guys like the video, like, comment, subscribe, really to appreciate it because a huge portion of people are actually not subscribed. So if you can do me a favor, like, comment, sub, hit the bell notification because that also does help quite a bit. But other than that, Let's get in. So to start off, we're going to be looking at the Hunter set and the Intrepid Discovery set is for the Hunters. Currently being sold for silver in Eververse for $15 each class, which is very unfortunate because $45 for this armor set is quite a steep ask. For any armor, really, I think $45 for, for three classes is fucking wild. Like, you are wild to ask that shit. Um... That being said, I'm literally gonna buy armor armor sets for twenty dollars, which is sixty bucks, which is fucking crazy. But the only reason I do it is because I am a fashion channel now, and that's kind of like my my fucking burden, I guess. But let's talk about the armor set. Hunter's dog. Let me tell you, some of these set pieces are so sexy. The helmet, I think, is sexy. Chest piece, absolutely sexy. I think it's the best piece from the whole set. Arms are decent. And the boots are the only piece that I have a problem with because they are actually reskins of a blue that we have had back in Destiny 2 vanilla. So that is really unfortunate. Um, actually, it's a reskin of like two pieces. If I if I can find them, I'll have it up right now. But it's very unfortunate because when I first saw these boots, I was like, they look cool, but these are definitely skit reskins. And when I checked them out, I was like, yeah, they're blue. They're blue reskins. Um, they're still useful don't get me wrong they're still definitely useful it's just the fact that like the only difference the big difference is the fact that like the both leg no that's not even the difference i think the only difference is the whip on the hip that's the only difference which is very terrible other than that every other piece is amazing i even think the cloak is pretty decent and i say decent because i might break your illusion for this cloak but the cloak uh goes a little too high for a lot of he helmets so the Escalation Protocol Armor from Warmind, if you combine this with this cloak, it looks terrible because the helmet actually goes down a little bit and this cloak goes up. So you, it just looks like you got a five head. As for how it shaders, it actually shaders pretty decently. Um, but it does kind of annoy me sometimes. And not in the sense of like, I wish it shadered better. It's just it shaders weird sometimes. Like it's, it's so hard to explain. Hopefully uh, you can notice it from the like, video that i'm showing you guys but there are other shaders that are just gonna make it look beautiful specifically cryptic insignia is just gonna make it look so beautiful and i'm not even talking about oh it's because it's black it's because it's not only black but it's the texture as well it makes it clean and that's a really good uh sign that this these uh pieces take shaders really well because if the texture changes really really well then that usually is a good sign that the armor is really decent to change the colors it's just the fact that some color choices for the armor is i'm just like uh, i wouldn't have chosen that color but okay so yeah definitely like mix and match the shaders because this shade this armor set does shader well it's just you have to really find those colors but let me know what shader you liked on it as for the titan it's gonna be the intrepid exploit set and i Okay, so let me just say this real quick. Uh, the boots are the same problem with the Hunters. These are reskins from a blue set that we had back in Destiny 2 Vanilla. So, yeah. I mean, some people might get bothered by that. I personally don't really care because I don't use the boots that often because I don't really like the boots. So, I would have chosen a better boot for that, but that's just me personally. That being said, I think the best pieces from this by far has to be the arms mark and the chest piece the helmet i'm not the biggest fan of but the three pieces that i just mentioned absolute god tier pieces i actually think the arms and the mark are in the like s tier category they're the they're some of the best pieces that i use for arm or for uh fashion chest piece i like a lot but i would not categorize it as an s tier i probably would like a good a tier for sure it's really cool but the arms and mark are just like 
another level, bro. They're so amazing. As for how it shaders, this is where it gets kind of sad because the arms don't shader as well as I would have hoped. It takes the off colors usually, but everything else shaders pretty well. I'm not like really offended by any of these pieces, but let me know what you guys think. As for warlocks i will say warlocks you did lose because there are some pieces where i'm just like what the fuck helmet is one of them unfortunately and i say unfortunately because like well no unfortunate i don't like the helmet i don't like it just kind of looks goofy that being said the copper on each of the sides don't change color so that's gonna be unfortunate for those who actually like this helmet um, I'm not the fan of the bond. The bond could have been so much more, especially since this gives more like a scholarly look. You can definitely would have put like something else there instead of whatever the fuck that is. The arms are asymmetrical and not in a good way because it's if the art, you know, what? if the armor was on the other side, I think I wouldn't have had that big of a problem with it. Um, the boots are kind of boring, but they're 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 decent and really sad to point this out. But the lining on the robes, like the outside lining, does not change color. So that brown is going to stay there, which is very, very unfortunate. That being said, you could definitely work around it. But I still count, count it against it because like, I shouldn't have to do that. Also, the name of this armor, obviously, is Intrepid Exploit. And I, yeah, I definitely think this is the weakest set that the from all the classes, just because, again, there's pieces that don't change for the arms the boots are kind of boring the bond is definitely a bad choice and overall i think the chest piece is like the only good piece where i'm like this is really cool it just shaded really terribly speaking of shadering let's just go into it as you guys can see from any other shader aside from ancient wisdom that brown does not change color and it hurts to see echoed anger for it because echoed anger does look really cool with it but that brown really just takes me out of it and you can definitely notice it a lot more with cryptic insignia because cryptic insignia does not have brown in there so yeah it's very unfortunate that it takes shaders like this because I, this could have been really cool i mean obvious honestly if they switched out the helmet for something else if they switched out the bond for something else if they switch you know what i'm not even the biggest fan of the right arm i'm not i hate that one just because it kind of takes away from the armor and the boots are the only piece where i'm like i can definitely use them i have used them before in the past and i like them but it's not like that great. Also, that is a, also a reskin from a blue piece from Destiny 2 Vanilla. So I thought that was funny that they all use blue pieces from Destiny 2 Vanilla, which is weird. But let me know what you guys think about this armor set. I definitely think it's worth picking up uh, for Hunters and Titans. Not so much for Warlocks, unless you got them for free, which is what I did. I got them for free when uh, armor pieces were still being sold for Bright Dust. So that's why I have them. But... I will under I would understand if you were like I'm skipping warlocks because the only piece that's really good in my opinion is the chess piece and even then it has problems. So let me know what you guys think. Uh the next video is gonna be the shader video, and then after that we're gonna be do doing the class specific videos. And then after that, we're gonna be free from armor for quite no, actually we'll we'll probably start doing the DND armor after that. And then after the DND armor, we'll most likely be doing the seasonal ornament videos because that is um I should have that all that armor by the time I do the D&D armors. And then after that, um, I don't know actually because I should be sprinkling some of the new exotics that are coming out or that we got this season in these armor videos. So by the time we are done with these seasonal ornament videos, we should have been caught up with all of the stuff that we've we had currently been working on. So theoretically at that point i can start doing my my like main content stuff which is essentially the old exotics that we haven't gotten to and then um i want to i want to start uh doing like armor rotate not armor rotates but like saving the armor that we have in game and just kind of like showcasing it kind of kind of like this where we review the armor and do the shader and all that but do it in game uh technically I don't know we'll see i want to do like like a legacy armor showcase type of thing where i showcase like old armor that if it comes back you guys can see like go to the 
like go, come to my channel and search like oh like devastation protocol armor and then it'll have the armor the shadering and then in, sp in different videos like the example sets and stuff so that way you guys can just check it out um just because a i know some people would appreciate that and b that's evergreen content technically like people will look that up all the time so yeah let me know what you guys think i appreciate you guys coming up to this point be safe i will see you guys later